What? In Oceanside, California, living in a van means that this couple can find fun wherever their four wheels and big shoes take them. That's right, Josh, known as Lock Jester, and Christina, known as Miss Candy, live full time as clowns. We live and embrace the clown lifestyle 24 7. It's our lifestyle at home, and it's our lifestyle in our career. We live in a rough world. Clowning goes away from the misery and terror that is the world that we live in. It's where the whole costuming comes in, and we get to dress up and do your makeup all crazy and act goofy. And dressing up has a kinky attraction to it. We really enjoy clown sex. Yep, they have sex dressed as clowns. Clown sex involves it's not at least see makeup, them. right? If not some outfitting, maybe a nice bow around the <laughs> or something to decorate. It's oh. glamour clownish, spunky, kind of kinky. You know, if I bend over, I got a little bit of ass cheek going. Having Is that found each kids other, appropriate? And candy are now looking for ways to spice up their clown sex life. Threesomes just make sense for both of us, you know. Wait, what? Drive a car, I'm in a van, and wherever they the go, land, these two can, always attract attention. Spanning the land everywhere I can. But Y'all look like some interesting people. What the you fuck? You've seen clowns on the streets? Not in Long Beach. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give me your feel. What's good? Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Miss Candy. Nice to meet you, Alexandria. Do you want some clown okay. cheeks? Candy are getting the feeling that they might have made a connection on their very first try. Wanna enjoy some clown like cheeks? Um, we actually have reservations at this uh, Korean barbecue place uh, nearby. Are you free? You wanna of hang out with I'm us? Free. I love Korean barbecue. Okay, cool. What the fuck? How do you strangers just walk past someone in the street? This white dude wants to be a rapper, but he's a clown. I'm confused. And then they invite you for some fucking barbecue Korean food, and you're like, yeah, let's go, man. I just met you. You could be a fucking serial killer, but let's go. This is why people fucking die in America. This is how easy it is, people. About why would you want to paint your body in a way of a clown? We actually have a clown fetish. I bet you any money this is stage as fuck. They paid this bitch to, like... Or they already, she already knows it, and then because no way a stranger would just sit down and start talking to some random fucking clown and talk to them about that. Like no one's interested. No way. You cannot sell that to me. So <laughs> I'm actually a kink clown. Okay. Yes. Explain what that means. So I, I get turned on by clowning. I will get really sexually stimulated. Even just from body painting, when there's a paintbrush that's like lightly going over your body, you can totally get aroused. You know, you're touching people in oh. sensitive areas. I mean, it sounds interesting. I'm open-minded. Mm, okay. Oh, so how are lucky. are seeing anybody right at the moment? Ooh. Candy has put Ooh. it all out Ooh. on the table, and it's been a night of surprises for Ali. Will she run with it or just run away? Extreme love. You've never seen love. You like get to this tell before. me what happened. No, no, what happened? Does she join in on the clown chick? <laughs> it's stage is fucked. Yeah, Th that's the person they've. Yeah, whatever. I don't really remember. Moving on. My name's Charles Palabino. I'm 36 years old. I'm from Beaver Creek, Wisconsin, and my wife, Juniper, and I have been married now for 12 years. Where is she? Charles? Where is Juniper? A lot of people don't see Juniper the way I do. Love you. We I don't think anyone can see. High school. Um, it was love at first sight. I was in the library checking out Catcher in the Rye for an English class when this hand mysteriously comes out of nowhere and grabs the book. And I was like, hey, that's the only copy left. And she goes, hey, how about this? I'll read the book to you if you take me out to dinner. And I just, I couldn't resist. So we went out that night and the rest is history. Um, yeah, 
growing up in Beaver Creek was very tough. Oh. Um, there was a Wait, lot of how... bullying and a lot of people didn't want to be my friends. Imagine if I felt kind of like a lone wolf. He actually does see someone, and but, we're all just crazy. But then I met Juniper, and she made me feel complete and and whole, and and made me see life as this beautiful thing, and I've been happy ever since then. Okay, no. I do the cooking around here. She does the cleaning. We like to share the chores. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, know. Yeah. So she's not cleaning. What Juniper and I have Juniper, real why aren't you cleaning? But it is. It's only a matter of time before people begin to acknowledge unique relationships like ours as legitimate. I oh, only do that if she does the dishes, Charles. Yes. I know that we're not married under the eyes of the law, but we don't care. <laughs> Juniper is my wife. It's always lonely when she's not around, but we're always texting, having little emoji battles. It's cute. How? She volunteers on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Wait, who's he texting? That, we're basically inseparable. We go I'm on confused. Walks, we play board games. You're letting the dog run. <laughs> Juniper, do your job. A win. <laughs> She's a very clever girl. <laughs> wow. When we're out in public. I we would do like to meet her. Looks, but Seems we don't very us. interesting. We still go on date night. We have our favorite restaurant we always go to. Bro, he comes in three times a week and orders two answers <laughs> every time. Do I really think he has a girlfriend? What do you want me to say? He pays me. He he buys two entrees. Holy shit, Juniper, you're a of lucky my bitch. I don't understand Juniper and I. I think they're a little jealous of what we have. Hey, Ty. Hey. How's it going, How man? Are How are you? Doing good. You remember Juniper? You could forget Juniper, you know. I mean, listen, Charlie. He's a good guy. Yeah. I mean, how do you act? I think if he put himself out there, he could legitimately find himself a girlfriend. Not necessarily a 10, but uh, she'd be real. I don't know. He spends all his time with Juniper, and, and he's just wasting his life. I hate to see it. Listen, I, I just want to talk to you, okay? This, this doesn't Juniper seem thing, very it, natural. It's shutting you off from it seems very, like, bad acting. Opportunities. I don't uh, know. Juniper makes me happy. She makes me feel whole. I mean... This, is, I've, this I've seems very scripted. Even his reaction. Come on, man. Uh, look, like the way they talk. Think about it, okay? There's a whole Sh is it world fake? out there you're missing. I don't understand this, okay? We've been back and forth on this a million times. It's nothing has changed. I just want people to recognize our relationship as real. But I don't see that happening until we make a change as a country. Am I being punked? This fake. I should have realized this. I have a good one. feeling about this one. Ready? Juniper, you better behave. Look, this man spent so much money on you. Juniper! Behave. It was fake. Oh, yeah. God damn it. I thought it was real. Sad.